looks good. This is right. See the line? Yeah. Okay, visualize that. Now we're starting to get a little high. Power comes off. Flaps come in. Look out there. See how it looks like we're getting steeper now? See that angle? Yep. Well, I, I mean, see it. Don't just say, yeah, but I want you to realize that. Pay attention. That's important. 60. 60. Perry traffic, 9 November Delta, turning final, runway 36, Perry. Okay, 60. I don't care what the runway does, hold 60. Hold 60. I don't care what the runway does, hold 60. Runway's moving up in the windshield, isn't it? Yep. Hold 60. This is 60. This is the pitch for 60. But it's going to make you land short, isn't it? Yep. Add power. Don't wait till the last minute. Now take the power off. But you see, what you were doing there, and I'm going to help you with this because you've arrived at a different attitude now. You see what, what happened there? You were steadily trying to make the airplane fly to the runway by raising the nose and raising the nose. The airspeed's a little bit behind, but I realize at that pitch attitude, you're going to get below 60, What you did. Right. But you couldn't tell that because of the delay in the airspeed. And you had no other way of making that correct assumption because you kept skewing the test by moving the nose up. You've got to hold the pitch that holds the airspeed. Don't aim for the runway. I can't stress that enough. you got to hold the pitch that holds the airspeed. Then and only then can you look and see what the runway is doing relative to your approach.